Hi everyone, we're going to be colouring in this strawberry today. Now I've got some photos of little strawberries as a sort of reference and uh, I'm going to start um, looking at those and uh, work from there. Now the first thing I can see are the little pips and they're yellow but they're not really really bright yellow so I'm going to grab a yellow and I'm going to use my light yellow glaze. These are polychromos. I've been using polychromos for this page just because I want a nice variety of different shades of colour and because uh, I've got 120 polychromos that's what I get. So I'm just popping in a bit of yellow in each of these little seed spaces. Now it's not really showing up massively but uh, yellow never really does. So there we go. And next thing we want to do is think about our red. There's lots of reds obviously we can choose from in our polychromos. I'm going to start with this one. This is the scarlet red. I'm going to sharpen it and I'm going to think about now, with the strawberries, they've got such a high shine, there is always a part of the strawberry which is white. So I'm going to have a think about that as I colour it. I'm just actually going to pick, pick a photo of a strawberry and use that one to go with because I think it will be easier for me. I'm trying to find one which looks really like this, so it actually has the... Um, the greeny bit in the right place and this one I've just found does so that's good. So I'm going to start with quite a dark layer of this red at the bottom and I think that's quite a good red for a strawberry. Avoiding these seeds and gently work my way up. Now I'm going to lighten my touch as I go up because this particular strawberry that I'm looking at gets lighter as we go up the plant and there is a little piece around a seed which is white so we're going to observe that as well. So we're going to work up the side here quite lightly and this side as well going around the little seed pod, pods whatever they are. Now around here there's a white bit and it's quite close to the seed, it's sort of just shaped like that. So we're just going to um, leave that bit white and colour in all the rest, leaving leave a little few white bits around some of these seeds because that is how it actually looks, a bit of white here and there. Okay. Now next I'm going to get a much darker red because some of this is really dark. This is um, dark red and I'm going to go where it's really dark in my photo. So around the edge here and then blend that in a little bit all the way down where it's very very dark. blend that out a little so it doesn't look like a dark harsh line. It's dark around the bottom and just starting up this edge but not all the way like that. Now we also have a lot of darkness under the leaf area because obviously there's shadowing going on there so I'm putting a lot of pressure onto that pencil to get that dark line and I'm putting it partially on top of the black line that's there and partially outside of it. So we've got that now. That darkness does continue a little bit out here and a little bit here and here. Just a tad. I'm going to put it all the way up that edge even though it isn't just because I think it's going to look better with regards to the shape. Now I'm going to grab this red again, the scarlet red, and just blend in from where we did those dark areas, remembering to leave those white bits that we want left white.
Okay. Now we need to think about the greenery of the um, plant. And it's the one in this picture is really quite light, which is interesting. So I am going to mimic that and go with this very light May green. Um, see if you can see that. And I'm just going to go all over in the May green to start with in a light layer. And then we'll darken up where we think it needs it in a minute. So I'm not going to copy the picture exactly because obviously the leaves aren't perfectly the same. What I'm going to do is think about where it will be darker. So here and here, this is too pale. We need to go up a darker shade. So we'll go into our earth green yellowish. Can you see that there? I'm not sure. And uh, use it in the areas we think it should be. So it would be darker down here where all the leaves meet. And then there, in there, and behind this one, like that, and under here, not so much on that front one, but maybe underneath there, and this back one where they are meeting. Now I'm also thinking a little bit about the shape of the leaves they might bend upward slightly so they catch more light on this bit. There we go. Now I'm going to get an even darker one and just add a few more dark bits. So we've got our permanent green olive. Right in that centre I just couldn't get it as dark as I wanted. With, that, with those colours, just a little bit where there's going to be some shadowing. having a quick look and seeing how that compares. I think that's done. I do want it to be a bit darker at the very bottom so I'm going back in with my um, deep red. I'm going to just try and make that even darker down there and on that edge. Just blend that in a bit. In a little. Although it's lighter here, I don't know if it's this much lighter, so I'm just going over it a tad. There we go. I'm going to leave it there, or else I'm going to end up covering those white bits. And believe me, they are there. Um, they look a little bit, they're probably. No, they're not too big actually. They are how it looks, so uh, that's that. The yellow, I think, is a little bit, might be a little bit too bright. Maybe we could darken that down a bit, the seeds. I think I'll just do that. So I'm going to grab what is the darkest yellow, which is the light yellow ochre, and go over those seeds with that. Now they won't show up loads because the yellow's already been burnished in, so that's why I thought if I go for a really dark colour, it will just show up the tiniest bit. It will just dull them down, just enough for my liking. There, that's it. You probably may not even notice any difference on the camera. But there's our strawberry. So uh, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it. And happy colouring.